Hey guys, so recently I've been getting a lot of people asking me to uh, make a tutorial for a lot of the Sky Sailing songs that I play because it's in a weird tuning and a lot of people don't really know what exactly Adam Young is playing. So I'll show you right now. Uh, one of the, the first song I'm going to show you how to do is um, Explorers. It's my favorite one to play and it's pretty easy. So the tuning to play the song in is usually uh, D A E A A E. Well, at least that's what I played in the video. Um, someone recently showed me that turning the high E to a D actually sounds more like it does on the album. So you put your capo on the first fret and then tune to that. And then I usually play the song with the capo on the second fret. If you tune to that without having a capo on the first fret, you're probably going to break a string because it's tuning up really high and can cause it to snap. So with the capo on the second fret, that makes it D sharp, A sharp, F, A sharp, A sharp, and D sharp. These last two A's that right here are the exact same note, so tuning this B string up to that can cause it to snap and standard without a capo. So yeah. So yeah, let's get started. First off is the verse. Um, Verse is pretty simple. It just sounds like this. So, how to play that. Um, I usually use my thumb to mute the low D string so that it's not can't hear it, just from the guitar, and then you start on the uh, E string on the 12th fret while muting the D, so it plays the D. just like that. You go from 12th fret to 11th fret to 9th fret, back to 11th. He does that twice, so it's like... After that, you go down to the second fret while unmuting the low D. So it goes. And then back to 12, 11, and 9. So. Actually, not 9, it goes to the fifth fret, sorry. So it's 2, 12, 11, and then the fifth fret. So all together, it's 12th fret while. The first half mutes it, second half doesn't meet the low D. So it starts off with the 12th fret, so 11, 9, 11, 12, 11, 9, 11, and then you unmute the D, go to the second fret, 2, 12, 11, and then 5, and then you play the first real chord in this song. It's kind of like an A, and it's on the second fret, but it's not really an A because it's on the low D string, but just the position is kind of like an A in standard. So you put your one finger on the D, on the, the D string on the second fret, and then your ring finger, that's what I use anyways, on the string right underneath, also on the second fret. That's one of the chords that he uses a lot in this song. So all together, it sounds like this. And yeah, uh, that's the verse. Second verse is played exactly the same. The chorus sounds like this. The whole 
course only consists of four chords, but it can be kind of tricky remembering the pattern of them. But if you know the song really well, it's not too hard. So the main four chords are this one, where it's just on the uh, E string, second fret, just. And the next chord is an open chord. You just meet the low D. Next chord is that A shaped chord on the second fret. And then you can also use that exact same chord and sliding it up to the fourth fret. So it's just those four chords played through the whole course. So it starts off like. <coughs> we found ourselves in the sea, deep underwater. We both thought that we could still breathe. So we spent the day so kind of hard remembering that pattern, but it should be just the, the open low D chord, and then the open chord while holding the D, and then second fret. I don't know the names of these chords, I'm sorry, but I'll try my best to explain them. So yeah, just those three at the beginning. Found ourselves in the sea. Same thing again, but instead of going to the second fret, you go to the fourth fret, and then the second fret. So it's, we found ourselves in the sea. Same thing. Deep underwater. And then you go to the fourth fret. We both thought that we could still breathe. And then, second fret, fourth fret, and then D, second fret, and then open. It's kind of tricky, but if you can remember it, it's pretty easy, so. Just practice it and you'll get it. So yeah, let's go through the course one more time and then I'll show you the post course the bridge and that's the whole song. So yeah. Wait, I'm oh, sorry. <laughs> After that, there's like a post-course type thing where a bunch of instruments come in and it sounds sounds better with all the instruments than just a guitar, but what the guitar is playing is those same four chords again, just played in a different order. So it's just... After that, it just rings out for a second and goes back to the verse. It's pretty, pretty simple. Um, there's a bridge part that takes place after the second verse, but before the last course. It's in a weird kind of spot, but it sounds cool. And it's pretty much just the same, same notes that you're hitting in the verse, except for it's just plucked instead of strummed, and they're in a different order. So it's like, I think it's. The words are, that was years ago. That part. And it starts off at the second fret on the E string, and you're just plucking the higher notes underneath of it while hitting the string that your finger's on. So it's just. So just second fret, fret fourth fret, and then fifth fret. And after that, slide it up to 12, 11, and then 9. So it's pretty simple. Just. And then you can just strum it at the end. You're done. Make it sound fuller. 
And um, yeah, it's pretty much all the parts of the whole song. So start off with the verse, just at the 12th fret there, using the D. trickier slider stuff that's just like a dumbed down basic version of it feel free to just do whatever and yeah that's pretty much the whole song guys um this is my first attempt at ever making a tutorial video if you guys like it let me know i'll attempt to make more subscribe and yeah let me know if you guys want anything else um pretty much any other adam young song is basically played in this tuning there's slight variations of it but i find that like a lot of owl city songs i've played like Bird and the Worm or Cave In all kind of sound similar to this tuning even when you'll watch videos of him playing like Good Time, it seems like he's playing this tuning or slightly different versions of it oh. or uh, Sky Sailing still sounds a lot the same so yeah, hopefully that helped out um, and let me guys let me know guys if you want any other tutorials or anything else thanks